Hey guys, I'm Abhi and I'm a full stack developer and in this video we're going to talk about front end versus back end and I'm going to give you a mental model to think about how you can you know decide what you want to be whether you want to be a front end developer, a back end developer or a full stack developer. We'll go through both the sides of this equation and hopefully you'll have an answer by the end of this video. So yeah, let's get started. All right, so first you need to understand the difference between front end and back end, right? Like every application or a online service that you use like Facebook or YouTube or Netflix, right? Basically, there's a front end of the app where the users actually interact with it. So the web application that loads on your browser, right? The YouTube application that renders all these thumbnails and you click on a thumbnail, then it renders that video and you can watch the video, you can subscribe, you can comment and do all this stuff. So where the user actually interacts with it is called the front end of the application. But the back end actually handles all the logic that makes that actually powers the front end, right? So these videos, these comments and all the data that you see on the front end is coming from some database stored somewhere in the world. And the front end accesses these by making API requests to the back end, right? And the back end is basically the server who serves all these requests to millions of people around the world, right? So basically the back end developers build these servers that actually save the data and maybe process the data and you know return it to the front end to, to power that front end of the application, right? All right, so in order to think about whether you want to be a front end person or a back end person, you want to think about what you really enjoy, right? Because ultimately it's going to be a job choice. It's going to be probably a career wide, a long, uh, you know, a long term choice that you will make. I'm not saying that it's not easy to switch, right? You can, I see people always switching from back end to front end or from front end to back end and so on. It's, it's, it's definitely possible because in the end you're an engineer, you will learn the technologies and you'll figure it out. You are basically a problem solver, right? But in order to, you know really specialize in one field so you want to become a really specialized front-end developer or a really specialized back-end developers because these specialized positions do carry a lot of value and do uh, bring you a lot of good opportunities and good compensation and so on if you think about the nature of work right the everyday work that you'll be doing for a front-end developer it's very easy to you know look at what he's building right because you, you almost get an instant feedback kind of a thing. You just write some code and you run it and you see the output, right? You see right there, okay, I'm seeing this button that I just built and if I hover over this button, it's color changes or, you know, it, it opens a model or something like that. So it, it's a very feedback rich environment, you know, you get instant feedback on what you're writing and the code that you're writing, there's instant feedback. So some people really need and appreciate this instant feedback and they can't really do without it. So for them, I think front end is a great choice because uh, they can instantly see what they're building and they, they I don't know if, if it makes them happy. I really like doing front end for that reason. You know, I can instantly see what I've built and you, I can tweak it, I can make it better. And you know, uh, so that's a really good aspect of it. You're a very visual person and you, you really care about user interaction and providing the best experience possible for the users of the application, right? So these are some of the skills and some of the mental model for you to have as a front end engineer now talking about the back end it's it's things are slightly different right because there's nothing beautiful that you will see on the screen as a back end developer right so yeah, for a backend developer, your day to day will mostly look like designing a lot of systems, right? You will have a you will have a lot of system design kind of thing because a backend developer will actually have to think about how the entire application is going to work as a whole, right? The data needs to be stored somewhere. You will be designing database schemas and you will be implementing these database schemas, building database systems, and you will be building API systems, and you know you will be building different features so for uh, for a single feature set you will be building what the apis are going to look like and you know how the data will be persisted and how the data will be returned and the front end will just use whatever you build right you will write documents about you know how this api is how these set of apis work and you know what what are the format what are the uh, requirements and what are the parameters and stuff like that you will be writing a lot of docs about all these things you will be doing a lot of thinking to build these systems right really scalable systems uh, there's a lot of process there's a huge process behind building really scalable systems and you know if you if you're operating at a huge scale you'll probably be working with distributed systems right which is another very big aspect of backend engineering so i think it's a very interesting aspect if you're if you really want to solve deep technical problems distributed systems is this huge space because think of it like these big systems like Facebook and Netflix and stuff, right? A single server can't really handle requests coming from billions of people around the world, right? They are building distributed systems that work together, you know, in clusters and, you know, they are scalable. Clusters can scale depending on demand. And, you know, there's, there's a, just a ton of problems that come with 
just being just taking a simple server just if you build a simple api server with say uh, django or whatever right and then you want to scale it by adding two three more servers it introduces a bunch of problems and these are very interesting problems that you will solve as a back end engineer so if you're if you're really interested into learning the deep side of it and you know deep technical hard technical problems i think you will really enjoy back end development but you will not get instant feedback as such right because there's nothing visually appealing right there most of your life will be spent around the terminal and the code editor right because your outputs and your stuff will be seen on the terminal perhaps and you will just uh, try to build try to optimize your apis try to improve the performance right that will really impact the application but that will not give a visual cue uh, like you know on in the case of front end right so that's basically what the role of a back end developer looks like i am a full stack person and so in fact i i do both front end and back end at my current job as well as my previous job so i I've, i've seen both sides of the coin and i really like doing both because i like the fact that i am able to do both together right because in a day to day in a front end and back end team the back end developer will uh, you know build something and deliver and that front end front end developer will pick it up you know read their docs and you know then there'll be integ- and and then there'll be an integration phase and then they'll test the whole thing out uh, it also kind of slows down the whole process but big big companies and big teams can afford having front end teams and back end teams and doing that back and forth but being a full stack developer is really valuable not just for you but also for the company right because you can actually take entire feature sets and you can implement the back end and front end simultaneously for it it reduces the development time because there's less back and forth and less communicating and less things uh, you know going left and right right so you can definitely build entire feature sets you know from start to finish using the front end and back end knowledge and i think it's a great way to also explore right so if you if you look at it from my perspective right i personally think that towards the start of your career you should explore everything so i am currently exploring full stack and you know uh, i'm i'm right now getting into more systems role so i want to explore all the aspects of it because that will help you to actually decide what you really like better right if you look at it on the surface i'm seeing most of the young kids and everyone wants to be just front end engineers no one is touching back end right that's not true so i would suggest if you're just starting out try to become a full stack developer right because you bring in more value uh, you add more value to the table and it's also you know it it also enhances your knowledge and you you get a perspective right you get to see how the back end works how the front end works and you spend time on both so that you will really understand what you really want to do long term right and after doing full stack for a few years then you can decide okay i like the back end side of things i can dive deeper into back end or i like the front end side of things i can dive deeper into front end and you can easily switch right but if you start off as a full stack developer all these options are going to be open for you in the future yeah and there are definitely a lot of opportunities for full stack developers in startups and in big companies i think so if you look at front end engineers and back end engineers combined you will find that many openings because as a full stack developer you can really suit any opening right if you're if you're looking for a job you can also apply for front end roles you can apply for back end roles and full stack roles so you 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 have plenty of opportunities and you will never find a you'll never find yourself in a place where you don't have enough opportunities right i see people complaining that there are no jobs and there's recession and all that that's not true trust me every day i get hit up by recruiters who are recruiting for full stack roles or front end roles or back end roles right so if you have the right skills and if you have in the end you're going to be a good problem solver right you're going to be a good software engineer which means that you're a good problem solver and you can learn new technologies and learn different skills you know front end back end whatever it is you can learn it and you can do the job right so that's your basic skill and full stack developer will put you in the best place to be able to understand any problem across the stack and it puts you in a better place to solve that problem so yeah i would recommend go for full stack but in, in but in the end it's going to be your personal preference if you really like doing front end or really passionate about it just go for it right i think there's one life is very short to do something that you don't like to do so if you really like front end go with front end if you like back end go with back end but i think my personal recommendation would be full stack if especially if you're just starting out in your career so yeah with that said that's it for this video i hope you like this one if you did smash that like button leave a comment down below if you have any other questions And yeah that's it thanks for watching